guys, I'm going to try this video thing one more time this year. Um, the book we're going to talk about this year is Bamboo People by Matali Perkins. And um, this book is basically about the, um, the nation of Burma and the peoples in it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Burma was a English protectorate. Um, and England uh, gave, uh, walked away and uh, turned over the government to the Burmese people. And for a long time, the Burmese government was pretty stable. And due to the influence of the British, it was highly educated. There were, um, you know, was, you know, pretty much high in second world country. Um, in the 1970s, they had a military coup. And the end result is today it's got probably one of the worst education systems in the world. It's got um, some of the worst health care in the world. Um, the, the Burmese people are um, facing constant human rights issues. The native tribes in the mountains are facing human rights issues. Um, it's ongoing warfare. So there's a lot of conflict going on in, in Burma. Um, the book features basically two main characters, and that's Chikiro and then Tore. To Chikiro is a Burmese boy, about 14, 15 years old, and um, he's the son of a doctor. That doctor um, gets arrested, and he's, the family's struggling. So he goes, because Chikiro is highly educated, he goes to try to become a teacher um, and earn some money for the family. And the end result is he gets captured by the army, drafted, and then he kind of has a big adventure. Now during the course of the adventure, he runs into uh, a couple different levels of society. Um, his best friend, Tukui, I believe is the pronunciation. And he's a street uh, rat, basically. Um, they form a friendship, partnership, so on and so forth, and their adventures lead them to, into the mountains, and um, where Chikiro ends up getting um, hit by a landmine. Okay, and he's found by the Kamari tribe, I believe is how it's pronounced, probably mispronouncing it, but that's okay. And um, the secondary character, main character, uh, Tu Rei, um, is, is the person who finds him. And then Tu Rei is about actually 15 or 16. And he's, he has got all kinds of conflicts there with his own people and trying to come to grips with the fact that, you know, this, this is a Burmese soldier and he's having to save his life. And there's all kinds of things going on there. Now, this is a solid book. Probably wouldn't re recommend it for eight, uh, for anybody below eighth grade. Concepts are pretty difficult to understand. The reading's not too hard, so I mean, um, so it it would be well within an eighth grader's um, uh, level. Um, good for use of geography. Good use. You can work some some of the passage in here about. Um, some of the wildlife that can work into biology, although I think that's stretching it. Um, good um, use for sociology, good uh, uses in um, history, uh, world history, things of that nature. Um, it's a really solid book, and I would recommend reading it. Um, it took me about two to three days reading it. Um, that's not solid reading, of course. But, um, so thanks a lot, guys, and have a good week.